The last decade was an eventful one. We saw the end of the government-funded space shuttle program, the first image of a black hole, and close-up photos of Pluto, the dwarf formerly known as a planet. So far in 2020, we've had billionaires send privately funded test rockets into outer space, and scientists have sent another rover to Mars in search for signs of fossilized extraterrestrial life. So it begs the question, what does the next decade have in store for us? Welcome to Fact Nominal, and we're marking the celestial calendar in 10 insane space events happening in the next decade. Probing Rock 2022 Asteroid 16 Psyche is a curious hunk of rock floating through outer space. While most asteroids are made up primarily of rock, Psyche contains an extremely high concentration of nickel and iron. In 2022, NASA plans to launch a spacecraft to probe the asteroid, which fluctuates between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. It's suspected that Psyche is actually an exposed chunk of the core of an earlier formed planet, one which now doesn't exist and may even form part of the molten nickel iron core of the Earth. The mission aims to study the violent collisions and other forces needed to create planets. Greedier businessmen are also looking at the possibility of mining the precious metals within the 113-kilometer asteroid, thought to be worth a staggering $10 quadrillion. Comparatively, the combination of all currency on Earth only totals to $80 trillion, give or take. A Dark Mission 2022 the European Space Agency will be launching its Euclid mission in 2022 for the purpose of studying the theoretically assumed and until now undetectable dark energy and dark matter. Very little is known about a substance that scientists say must exist and contains 95% of all the matter in the universe. An orbiter will launch from Cape Canaveral, deploying a telescope with the Near Infrared and Photometer, or NISP, instrument needed to assess why billions of galaxies are moving away from us at an abnormally fast rate. It's suspected that cosmic bodies traveling faster than the rate of expansion are being propelled by dark energy, the great mystery of this century. Life within our solar system 2023 Scientists want to launch a spacecraft in 2023 to survey and assess the fourth largest of Jupiter's 79 moons, Europa. The purpose of the mission is to sample some of the ice which covers the surface of Europa, ice made from water that scientists suspect is twice as old as the water found here on Earth. If their theories are correct, Europa may even contain more than double the amount of water underneath its icy crust than is held by all the seas and oceans on our blue planet combined. In broader terms, a question needs to be answered. Can Europa sustain biological life and one day human life? Martian Moon Mission 2024 The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA for short, will be launching a mission to the Martian moons of Demios and Phobos in 2024. The main objective is to find out if the moons are residual chunks kicked out into orbit from Mars' surface after its formation or as a result of direct meteor strikes. Then again, they could just be large asteroids that were captured in its gravitational pull as they traveled close to the planet. Both moons have a decaying orbit, meaning that one day they will both crash down into the Martian surface. It's unclear which moon will meet its doom first, Demios or Phobos, with the race neck to neck and due to be decided in about 50 million years time, a time when human civilization will almost certainly cease to exist. First woman on the moon, 2024. It's been over 50 years since the first manned mission to the moon. We're set to return, and as a tribute to the Apollo mission that took them there, the next decade will be all about the strong women that stand beside every strong man, his sister Artemides. The new lunar program aims to allow mankind to once again step foot on the moon's surface, but for the first time in history, some of those feet will belong to a woman. NASA is developing a powerful new rocket to get us there. Attached to the top was the Orion-class spacecraft. The Gateway spaceship will act as a base of operations and house astronauts as they go back and forth to the moon, developing working technologies that will eventually be used in the first manned mission to Mars. Day turns to night, August 2, 2024. A total solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the Earth and the Sun, effectively obscuring our bright golden ball for those standing in the shadow cast over our blue planet. Due to its close proximity, the moon's relative diameter is larger than the Sun, blocking all direct sunlight and turning day into night. The one happening in 2024 will be unique, with the moon's diameter being larger than usual, occurring a day after the perigee. 
The longest duration will be 4 minutes and 28.13 seconds near the town of Nazis in Durango, Mexico. It will also be the only total solar eclipse in the 21st century that will be totally visible in Mexico, the U.S., and Canada. Interestingly, a smaller partial solar eclipse happens just 177 days later. Comet 9P Temple 1, May 26, 2024. Comet 9P Temple 1 orbits the Sun within the asteroid belt located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. It last achieved perihelion, otherwise known as a close approach to the Sun, in 2016. It takes the comet roughly five and a half years to orbit the Sun. In 2005, the Deep Impact mission sent an impactor into the comet, becoming the first spacecraft to eject material from the surface of a comet and then collect it for study. On May 26, 2024, it will pass relatively close to Jupiter, roughly half the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Coming within this proximity of the supergravitational gas giant may be the end of the comet, causing it to break apart in a fiery doom. A Titanic Effort 2027 NASA will launch its Dragonfly drone spacecraft in 2026 to explore the largest of Saturn's 62 known moons, Titan. It's uncertain whether the moon could be classed as a microplanet, as it's an ocean world with a dense, hazy atmosphere with seas of liquid methane instead of water. Massive clouds in the sky can rain and even snow methane. Titan is the only other place in our solar system with a similar atmospheric pressure to Earth, composed almost entirely of nitrogen, just like ours. The Dragonfly will be exploring various locations on the moon to determine whether the conditions on Titan mimic the Earth billions of years ago, well before the formation of life. The Dragonfly mission will arrive at the planet in 2036 and will shed light on how the first organic chemical compounds formed on Earth acted as a precursor building blocks for the primordial soup where life eventually sprung into existence. Message in a Bottle 2029 a message from Earth, or AMFE, is a super high-powered digital radio sent out from Earth on October 9, 2008, with the express purpose of being intercepted by an alien civilization. It was pointed in the direction of Gliese 581c, a planet mad famous for being the first super-Earth to exist in an orbit in the Goldilocks zone or habitable zone of a sun. This is a distance from the Earth's star where liquid water can theoretically exist and therefore a potential to contain organic life. It's only 20.37 light years away in the constellation Libra within our own Milky Way galaxy. The AMFE signal is actually a time capsule containing 501 messages that were selected as a result of a competition on social networking site Bebo. Ukraine's state space agency lent their advanced RT-70 radar telescope to broadcast the message. Too close for comfort. October 13, 2029. The near-Earth asteroid Apophis will make an extremely close pass to Earth on April 13, 2029. Well, in proportion to space terms, anyway. It will fly past at just 31,200 kilometers away from the surface of our planet, or 0 .0002 astronomical units. To put it another way, that's just two ten-thousandths of the distance between the Earth and the Sun. A scary thought, as there's satellites in the Earth-bound geosynchronous orbit that are further away. Apophis was a cause for concern in 2004 after initial observations and calculations gave the asteroid an alarming 2.7% chance of crashing into the Earth. That's a 100-foot wide chunk of rock we're talking about. It was later found out that it would pass through a gravitational keyhole and will likely miss the Earth, though it's still on the level 1 watch list.